how does money reflect our human values and how do you think money should be used perhaps differently in the future? Yeah, I think money, uh, depending on how we use it, re reveals our character, right? Like, if a wealthy person does not give much of his money away, he's stingy or he's, he's not giving. If a poor person gives all her money away, she's abundantly wealthy, right? And so I found one of the most profound ways to think about money uh, coming from the Hindu tradition. In Hinduism, there's four aims to life. One of the aims is called artha, which means the accumulation of money. It is your duty to make artha. It is your duty to make enough resources because you have to feed your family. You have mm. to take care of your, your friends. But one of the goals, one of these four goals, is called moksha, or liberation. Like, you have to liberate from money. Mm. One, uh, one day you should. And um, it's interesting how Hinduism connects the two ideas. It's saying that you have to pursue artha. Because when you pursue money, you'll be able to take all, care of all your material needs. But that pursuit of money will leave you hollow. It will leave you looking for something else. And that will awaken you to the need for moksha. Mm -hmm. It will awaken you to liberation. And so in Hinduism, this can correspond to periods of your life. Like early in your life, you're about artha, making money. But as you leave the world and you're getting older, you should start to renounce it and focus on the things that truly matter. Mm. This can correspond to periods of your day. When you wake up in the morning and you're doing business, making a deal, going to work. But when you come home, you should put away the artha. Go for a moksha, spend time with your family. Mm -hmm. Renounce those things. So I think that's a, a very strong principle of how to deal with money and how to think about it in a more, I think, profound way.